Yeah, I'm bored. I have no idea what to do with my time right now. I try to think about, you know, political issues, religious issues, and I think about what all of the comments would be if I talked about this or that. And it's like, oh, yeah, that again. And I think about trying to watch a movie, and it's like, oh, well, it's going to be that kind of mindset. Okay, that again. I think about, well, what if I tried to go out to take some pictures? Of what? There's, there's nothing out here to take pictures of except for maybe some old buildings. And I guess maybe I could do that. I could take pictures of old buildings. There's nothing really else out here that has grabbed my attention the whole time I've been here. But right now it's raining, so it's not that's not feasible either. And there's nowhere for me to go. And it just has me kind of down. Um... Tim's wife smokes like a chimney. She 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 has to have a cigarette almost all the time. And so the idea of going over there and enduring the cigarettes well, I'm not going to I'm certainly not going to try to demand how someone acts in their own house. It's not right. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of down. And I have eight more months of this to, to endure. Now, maybe once I start working on this place as far as, you know, painting the kitchen, sanding and restaining the floors and stuff, you know, that'll, that will take up, you know, some of my time and will give me something more to think about. Give me something more to do. But... You know, and, and maybe if I can get that stuff done, maybe I'd... maybe I could leave sooner than eight months, but then I'm not going to be really ready. I want to be under 200 pounds before I uh, before I, I leave here. I want to be under 200 pounds. This is going to be a long eight months, let me tell you. It's going to be a long fucking eight months. I go into Google Hangouts and look at see look and see what's going on. Well, politics and religion. Something that just really depressed me, just really depressed me, was when, and it was kind of the final straw for me, was when I made that video talking about how women and men are harassed differently. And someone made a comment saying, well, that just means women have to get a thicker skin. That was as bad of a comment, that was as bad of a remark as saying, well, you know, women shouldn't dress so provocatively when they get raped. You know, when, when it says that they get raped, oh, women shouldn't dress so provocatively. I saw a post on 
Google Plus. Showed a picture of Hillary. And it said, uh, basically that, uh, well, the reason why Hillary didn't get raped by uh, Weinstein, Harvey Weinstein, Weinstein, Wein, however you pronounce it, uh, is because she's so ugly. Painful, painful. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just I, I. It's depressing. It's depressing. The the amount of misogyny, and these these totally different the, these horrible standards that we put onto women. And it continues to get pushed forth. And then anyone who speaks against it, oh, well, you're just an SJW. Okay. Depressing. Just utterly fucking depressing seeing that shit. Really, that, that, that video I made and the comments that were made on it... Uh, were the final straw for me with that. Final straw. I see no point in even trying to bring any of this stuff up anymore. What's the point? The people who already get it, get it. The people who are dead set against it are going to be dead set against it. There's no making that, there's no budging those people. There's no getting people who are convinced that there aren't any dominionists around uh, that that think that uh, Pat Robertson isn't a dominionist and and Mike Huckabee isn't a dominionist. No matter how much they say things like oh, we need more God in the government, no, that's not dominionism. Oh, really? That's very interesting. That's the way that that we used to be. Oh, in the 50s, right? Yeah, so we want to bring back the 50s and people want to bring back the 50s. We should just... That's okay. You can try to bring back the 50s. No. No. There's there's no getting through to these people. There's, there's, there's absolutely no getting through to these people. There's, there's nothing really that can be done. These people are going to believe what they're going to believe. And... We're going to just continue to watch the country move towards the right. And there's not a goddamn thing I can do about it. Nothing. As all these people will sit there and say that uh, any, any bad news or negative things being said about Trump is fake news. And uh, you're just a, a, a shill to the uh, mainstream media and all that. There, there, there's, no, there's no reasoning with these people. Just as there's no reasoning with the people who say things like uh, white people are racist by their very nature. Yeah, there's no reasoning with those people either. But the ones with power are on the right, and this country keeps moving towards the right. And there's no getting through to the people who are just welcoming the move to the right with open arms. No getting through to them. So why bother? Why, why bother even trying? It's depressing. Fucking depressing. Then I get asked, what's wrong with moving to the right? Well, the right has the aspect of uh, uh, social Darwinism. No matter what your situation is, pick yourself up by your bootstraps. And if you can't make it, well, you know, there's always the churches, right? Then I have people that are, you know, they know that I'm from the United States. 
They know that I'm from the United States, and I'm talking about things that are related to the United States. Well, how dare you say this, these sorts of things about the right, because the right is different in other countries. Yeah, I'm fucking aware that things are different in other countries. I'm aware that the right is different in other countries. Yes, I'm quite aware of that. Not all! I need to say not all! Not all! Not all, everyone! Not all! Are you satisfied now? Does that make you happy that I said not all? Do I need to every phrase I say in the United States, in the United States, in the United States, do I need to say that every time? Seems like I do. I have to say every every single fucking exception. But if you say something about the left, well you can just say it about the left and and it should just be okay. You don't have to 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 give exceptions, but if you're saying it about the right, you better be, yeah, you better talk about you know the exceptions. You better be very specific. People who would I I expect someone to uh, to give perfect, irrefutable examples of uh, why Rush Limbaugh is a misogynist. No, no, that's not proof enough. Right-wing watch, whether or not they grouped some people in with, that they shouldn't have, they're right about what's happened to YouTube. They're right about what's happened in the online discourse on anywhere except for Facebook. They're right about that. I see no point in trying to argue about any of this stuff. I see no point in, in putting the energy into trying to find a way to explain things so those who are on the right in the United States, in the United States, in the United States, so those that are on the right that are pr promoting you know, you, you still somehow support Trump no matter what he's done or said to see some of the fucked up things. There, there's, there's no point. There's, there's no getting through to them. So why bother trying? Why bother talking about it? Why bother trying to do anything about it? It's hopeless. Utterly fucking hopeless. So it seems better just to just to watch the country go down the drain because trying to say anything about it, trying to do anything about it, trying to get people to see any of it is is pointless. Fake news, fake news, fake news. Okay. Great fake news then, huh? So now anytime I see something that has to do with politics, I just kind of, I, I get bored because I know that nothing I say will change anything. Nothing I say will get the Trump tards to, uh, to see anything different. There can be a, a simple joke about Trump and the Trump tards will will get all offended and get their panties in a bind and then they'll spend all this time white knighting for Trump because I guess Trump needs the white knighting, right? Apparently he's, he's, he's too fragile to, to have jokes made about him. But if someone white knights a feminist, oh, that's terrible and you need to, you know... <laughs> The double standards, the double standards. So yeah, in that regard, I, I give up. I give up trying to uh, to talk about this stuff. 
I don't see anyone making any leeway, any headway. Leeway? That's not the right word. I don't see anyone getting through to any of the, these Trump tards. I don't see anyone getting through to them. So yeah, that's that's why uh, I haven't been wanting to talk about politics anymore because I don't see a point. The people that are the, the pro-Trump people will not budge no matter what. No matter what people bring up, no matter who it is that brings it up, Mega, 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 right? Mega, mega. So yeah, it's depressing. And here I am in a town with Trump signs everywhere. You know, prior to having the realization that uh, there is no getting through to, to Trump tards, um, you know, I was a lot more positive about where I'm living. Prior to, to realizing that there, there's no point in talking about politics, I was a lot more content with where I'm living when I thought I could kind of make a difference. I was all right. I was doing all right. I'm not doing that all right now. Trying to look forward to some things that will, that could make me happy. I'm glad that I'm living alone and learning the things that I need to learn. I'm glad I've had this shift. Because really, this stuff that I'm talking about in, in politics, it's actually the way it's always been. But I, I always had this hope. Always had this hope that, that I could make a difference in those areas. What I need to do is focus on myself, improving myself. So when I'm in a place that I, that I like and can enjoy being around other people, that I can be the best that I can be. So I'm certainly not giving up on life, but I have given up on the idea that I can make any sort of change when it comes to politics. I've given up on the idea that I can make those that are misogynistic not be quite as misogynistic or I get I can get them to see something they didn't before. That I can get people that are homophobic to see something they didn't before. That I can get people that are racist to see something that they didn't before. I gave up a long time ago on getting, you know, staunchly religious people to see something they didn't before. I don't really know what to tell them. But now it's kind of with everything else too. I've ran out of I've ran out of ideas for that. I've ran out of ideas to 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 get people to think about those things. I've ran out. And so now I'm bored out of my fucking head. Bored 